wants to be king! Welcome back to the war room. Everybody that's a viewer in the Manosphere space is aware of the passing of Kevin Samuels. One of the things that I've noticed in, in the aftermath so far is you have people who appreciated him and then you have people who absolutely hated the guy. And I think one of the sad, one of the saddest parts, one of the saddest things that I've seen in, in Kevin Samuel's passing is the response that some, some of the content creators, the people who even in them, even in his passing, continue to whine and cry and complain and act like Kevin owed him something. And in all reality, if you're honest about it, if in fact Kevin Samuels borrowed anything that this guy did, he should feel ashamed of himself because he had a head start. The truth of the matter is, is Samuels just did it better than everybody else did. What he brought to the table was, in my opinion, it was necessary. And what the main thing that he brought was truth to both sides, to both men and women. And the people, the people who find themselves with venom in their heart and soul, malice toward Kevin Samuels are just either jealous of his success or angry because he told the truth about their lot in life. I saw a post where a black woman who's a nurse posted on her social media that had, you know, had he come into her, into her hospital, she would have touched him up and whispered some, some bullshit. What did you say about, what did you say about black queens or some bullshit like that? And I'm sure her and her empowered little group of, of affirmative action hires feels like she actually said something, but the sad reality is, is a lot of women are simply angry because Kevin Samuels told them the raw truth. And, you know, he's, he said what many of us say, have said, I've, I've made a video in the past specifically talking to the, the empowered woman with her masculine energy in the past. And uh, basically said the same things, just much less eloquently than Kevin Samuels did. But those of us who understood his message, those of us who, who preach accountability and don't subscribe to this all girls are bad, all boys are awesome, bullshit, junior high narrative, we can see, we can see the, the grown man message that Kevin was bringing. He wasn't telling men not not to get married. He wasn't he wasn't saying just go collect toys and play with a bunch of dudes and circle jerk each other and talk about how awesome you were because there was so no no more ugly girls around like a child. He he was he was speaking to both sides, telling men to get their shit together and telling women to start dealing in reality. And women didn't like that. Women that want to carry around an extra person around their waist while people like Lizzo and Tess Holiday are paid to lie. You know, they believe the lie. It's much, it's much easier to believe the lie that says that you're fit at any size or you're, you're good just the way you are. It's much easier to buy into that bullshit than it is to actually take a look in the mirror and realize that you ain't shit and that there's a lot of work to do. Nobody wants to do the work. Everybody would rather call people some sort of ist, claim an ism or a phobia, phobia, calling people scared when the reality is they're just disgusted. 
I think one of the biggest things that'll be missing in this in the space will be will be the eloquent delivery with which Kevin brought the message. And there'll be many people who come in and try to fill his shoes, but like great men in the past, there's no there's no replicating there's no replicating greatness like that. You can pretend, you can you can try to you can try to LARP your way into that, but the truth of the matter is, is that man, that man had a mission and he carried that mission out with grace. And the people, the people who have disrespected him in his passing, disrespect his family while they're going through this trauma, while they're dealing with this loss. Everyone who has something negative to say about him and makes a video to express their jealousy or anger towards him. Each and every one of you is a piece of shit. And you're a big reason why the circle that you run in is what it is. To to throw rocks at a man's at a man's funeral doesn't make you doesn't make you anything but a piece of shit. A great man passed away. A great man with a good, strong message of unity and dealing in reality is gone. Even those who hate him, even those, even those who fix their mouth to say negative things about him, in their heart of hearts, they know, they know he was simply better. He was simply better than you. His message will live on in everybody who was impacted. Even those with venom. If and when they reach a point of truth, we'll know that we lost a great man. Rest in peace, Mr. Samuels.